When it comes to your family's health, there should be no compromises. Yet piped Whirlpool baths and air tubs can become contaminated with infectious bacteria you can't see or remove. Piped Whirlpool bath circulation systems incorporate mazes of water and air piping, where dirty bath water gets trapped after each use, well over one cup for typical systems. You've seen the dirty residue on your tub's surface after bathing. Imagine layer upon layer of that residue hidden deep inside the pipes where you can't get to it. For example, this bottle contains filthy residue taken from a pipe system in a major medical facility's labor and delivery room. Even air tubs introduced recently as a safer alternative leave unsanitary bath residue behind. These tubs simply substitute air channels for piping. Both are inaccessible for cleaning. Dr. Rita Moyes, a PhD microbiologist at Texas A&M University, found infectious bacteria in 100% of piped and air tubs tested from homes and hotels throughout the United States. Among the harmful microorganisms, E. coli, Staphylococcus, Legionella, and Pseudomonas. Commenting on a controlled study of a piped whirlpool bath, Dr. Costerton reports, it is therefore a scientific certainty that any person using this whirlpool bath with the jets in operation would be exposed to airborne biofilm fragments containing pathogenic bacteria. Furthermore, epidemiologist Dr. Michael Nykar states, the relative risk for transmission of Legionella via whirlpools is significant, even for people standing next to the whirlpools. Manufacturers' cleaning recommendations call for the use of diluted mixtures of common household products like bleach, dishwashing detergent, and vinegar to clean piped whirlpool baths and air tubs. Scientific evidence proves these recommendations ineffective, leaving piped and air systems unclean and unsafe. Whirlpool bath manufacturers recognize that piped and air tub systems get dirty and can harbor infectious bacteria. In an attempt to deal with this problem, some have even begun marketing products aimed at providing safer, more hygienic bathing conditions. Some recommend the use of pour-in cleaners. One manufacturer offers an optional fill flush device. Consumers are instructed to flush the piping with vinegar or diluted bleach until they feel the system has been thoroughly cleaned. This procedure they advertise as self-cleaning. Another manufacturer features a warm air purge cycle that they say ensures a completely dry and sanitary system. This footage of a cutaway section of the air channel shows that it does not completely dry, and even if it did, Dried residue containing soap scum, body oils, dirt, and other body secretions is still unsanitary. Dr. Moy's microbiological testing proves that the purge cycle does not, in fact, sanitize the system. Scientific evidence and common sense tell you these marketing ploys do nothing but mislead and confuse.